Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. In the previous episode, well, we used the Thermarator a bunch, a bootload ton. So I decided to just skip ahead and, well, not really skip ahead, We this is the pool that I died on in the previous episode. But I decided to pre-freeze it beforehand so you guys wouldn't have to watch me shoot it all over. And anyway, let's start off with cutscene. Perhaps these robots can assist us. Excuse me? Have you seen any masked weirdos? I think I had better do the talking. A masked customer picked up an order not long ago. Recently, they received a new transmission from him, and they are willing to show it to us for a small price. Right, small price. Hello, yes, the Hank. Yes, I need to order two more containers of sulfuric acid. Oops. Uh, better make that five containers and uh, four containers of liquid hydrogen. Oops. Uh, better add six crates of nitroglycerin and. Look, just give me double air boy. Hey, what? What? <laughs> oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> just some robot humor. Okay, funny guy. Let's just head to those coordinates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I kind of screwed up a little bit with talking there, but it's okay, it's okay, it should, should be fine with the cutscene and stuff. Anyway, so, for when I, my brother and I were younger and we played this for the first time, that cutscene was hilarious. Don't know why. Like, watching it now, I'm like, meh, it, it's kind of funny, but when I was younger, it was, like, hilarious and we couldn't stop laughing about it. Now, it's like, meh. I don't know. You guys might, if it's a, this is the first time you're watching it, you might have found that's kind of humorous. And also this game, like, a lot of the puns in this game are really funny. Uh, let's just pick up all the stuff that we lost here at this place. Usually I speed these up, but it's okay. There we go. It's actually pretty quick here. So if I forget to speed it up, it's fine. All right. Let's keep going then. Let's get on our merry way. Two. Uh, let's drop by Slim's shack. Just so you guys can see what it looks like, and then if I have to come back here, like, between episodes or something, you'll just know when I say, Oh, I dropped by Slim's place and got a few minor upgrades. You'll know what I mean by that. Hopefully. If you've seen this episode. If you didn't, then you're not going to have any idea what I'm talking about in the future. Then that'll be terrible. But anyway, so you guys see there's our ugly, boring plash ship, and now let's go in here. We can get ourselves the Rhino, which is actually is not that good, in my opinion. I do not like the Rhino very much. We can get an upgrade on our shield, which I probably will get, and we can get the Mine Launcher, which oh, I, I really like the mines. We might actually get the mines instead of anything. We can actually make the wings look fancy, too. This makes it go faster and stuff. Oh, yeah, let's go with the mm, shields are mines. Shields are mines. Let's actually go with the shields. Only because later on, like, I can get a better mine thing, but they're gonna be cheaper later on. And the mine actually is my favorite weapon of all the things that we can get in the future. So you guys will probably see that at some point when I drop by here and I have enough rare titanium to pick it up. But we really won't worry about that for now. Off to the snowy planet, it looks like. Woo! Basically what that shield upgrade did was uh, gave us a little bit of a tiny extra boost in shields. If that wasn't obvious. Sorry, I thought there was a cutscene there. That's the only reason why I went quiet. Okay, there is, in fact, I believe a uh, skill point here on this plane. We already purchased stuff, so we don't need to go in there again. Let's go this way. Oh snap! Okay, nope. 
Nope. Not having any of it. <laughs> right over here, there is Dan the Snowman. Oh my goodness. There's the skill point. I killed Dan the Snowman. Who I think Dan is like the main creator guy or like lead person at like Insomniac or something when this game was made or something like that. I'm not 100% on that. Maybe he was the main producer or director or something. I can't remember completely, but... Uh, up there, there is a thing, and I'll show you how to get that, probably, but... Um, it's kind of tedious, so I might not do it. So I'll actually, maybe I'll just tell you about it, and we'll just we'll skip it. Because we don't need to actually get it. So down here, you can actually, if you look right here to the right, there's... Oh, what's this? I need the actual tractor beam, which I don't actually have it on. There. So here, we'll just stick it on quickly. We can now drag this thing over here. Ooh, look at me, go. And then you can drag it onto this elevator and then drag it all the way over there, like right there, and then hop on up. It's, that's how you get that thing. But we're not gonna worry about that because, well, I just wanna continue on and I kinda just blocked the way for myself. Okay, we're gonna kill you, thank you. And these guys should die easily to the claw, so that's helpful. Just spin in circles. Jeez, there's a lot of these little tough robot dudes. Oh, frame frame issues again. Apparently whenever I break the game, there's a lot of frame problems, but it's okay. Is that a, oh, that's spawning them. Okay, I did not know that. I was not paying attention that much to that. All right. A few more buddies. I want my buddies so I can have so I can kill these guys a little bit nicer. But uh, it's okay. Jeez, how many of these guys are in there? Maybe they just endless keep on spawning. Oh, we get to ride a truck. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, do do, do. get get some of the ammo. Did I just that a sniper? Okay, I think I've already mentioned the sniper and I haven't actually picked it up because it's kind of pointless. Not really, it's not pointless, it's just more of not the thing that I really want to pick up. It's not very helpful in this game. Like in the next game, yeah, sniper, there is a sniper and it, it is helpful for one specific part that I'm thinking about. But other than that, nah, not very helpful. Swing shot. Look at us riding on these trucks. It's like a truck choo choo train. And it's not like the uh, the choo-choo train in the previous game where it just goes like in a circle. Like maybe it does go in a circle, but it doesn't look as though it is going in a complete circle. Perfect timing. Hey, you, bad guy, boss, boss. Oh snap! He's shooting at us. Oh, do we actually have to hit him a bit? I don't remember that. Okay, we'll hurt you a bit. Oh wait, usually this is what I do. I let the turrets take care of him, and I just kind of stand back. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that opened it. That didn't open. I've been spooked. I actually don't think that did open like when I played through this the first time and I died and I had to redo all this stuff over again. It was not fun. Goodbye, you guys. Apparently the nuke is the thing that causes the issues in this game, but that's okay. Alright, next one up here. Oh, schnitzel burgers, where are you? Hey, friend. We don't want, we don't want to mess with you. He apparently bought a thing here a little bit ago, or wait, it was on the other planet that he bought this stuff, and then now he's on this planet. Haha. -ha. Wait, no, he bought it on this planet. He's still on the planet. Derp. Oh no! It tipped over, and look, there's a gigantic circular platform up here. I don't know what a circular platform could mean, guys. Not at all. Mm. Maybe a boss fight. Maybe. Possibly. Circles don't usually mean that, though. Do they? No, they can't. They can't. Oh my goodness, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Spin in circles, spin in circles. This thing, this trick still works in this game. I like it. Continue point. All right, let's make sure we have uh, well, pretty much everything, mainly those turrets, because they are very helpful to us. Buddies would be very helpful at this point, but we still don't have enough for them, so we're not gonna worry about it. And let's go. Ha, you've lost. 
lost, Megacorp. Take your imperialistic eco-fascism to another dimension. Say goodbye to your franken best. Come on, Frank. Too slow, you corporate laggy. He still lost like a little bit of health from when we beat him on when he's on the on the trucks, so that's very helpful. Kind of like the final battle in the first game, where uh, Drek loses some of his health. But uh, okay, I don't remember these turrets. That was something I was not expecting to pop out of here. Okay, let's get rid of them all. Oh, spook, spooked, super spooked. Okay, go turrets, go. I need your help, because I'm not very good at shooting him, so I'm going to let you take care of him. Go, go, go. What's that? I don't remember that. Are these, like, bombs? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember how I actually usually beat this thing. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm just trying not to get hit right now. That's all I'm really focusing on. That's what matters to me most right now. How much health did that take off? I didn't see. Okay, we only have six of our little turret buddies left, so go little turret buddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we did it. You had us worried for a moment. Do you suppose we should stop? Her? Oh! Not worth it. We got what we came for. Let's just get that little guy back to Mr. Fizzwidget. <laughs> Spank? Is that you? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment is safe and in our possession. <gasps> Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely munificent! You two are a galopsious team! We were glad to assist, sir. We just need coordinates to our next rendezvous point. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Here's a little pack talk on the fragility. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. A tireless drum major leading the galaxy on its march of progress. Come tour our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is our history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the automated management team, thereby eliminating costly upward mobility. And all the while, making your life richer. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. Our march continues to the tune of progress and profitability. Call Investor Relations today. Is that facility still operational, sir? Alas, no, but it's steeped in hysterics. I've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer. We'll see you there. So, you guys probably only saw the cutscene once there, but I just saw it twice, and I might actually include a little funny clip of what actually happened the first time through, because it was rather amusing. Hey, there's Mr. Fizzwidget. <laughs> what happened? Everything's fine. There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the, uh, delivery? Terrifulous! Come, gentlemen. There is precious little time. Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? He did that on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well... <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. Oh man, so that was, uh, yeah, it was rather amusing, the funny clip. I probably would have edited it in already before this, if I remembered to do it. But, um, yeah, basically it showed the clip twice. Like, two times. 
and the first time it was all glitched and really loud and weird and stuff and I was worried that the the audio was like all corrupt and stuff but then they played the cutscene like a second time and fixed like the audio and stuff so eh, it doesn't work out but either way if we didn't have the uh, Lancer upgraded what would have happened in that cutscene where he used the upgraded Lancer well I've tested that in the fat like in the far past and basically he still uses the upgraded Lancer in the cutscene so there you go there you have it now we got to make our way through here with Mr. Fizz widget threw us into a hole and oh here's the pink nanotech which fills up and four of those health spots so it's very very helpful very helpful indeed so I gotta c figure out how much time to cut off this episode now that I've actually watched that cutscene twice but uh, hopefully I remember to do that probably after we get through this cave I'll probably end the episode that seemed like a good spot uh, the thing's still not doing very much help and it oh or uh, helping us very wait what? <laughs> I can't speak again. This game apparently just doesn't. Or, um, weapons not. Oh! There we go. Oh no, it wasn't aiming properly over there. Totally not my fault. No, not at all. This is definitely 100%. Uh, the game. Yeah, 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 definitely. Sir, what are you doing? You're floating. Kind of. Can't have that. Thank you. Oh! Nope, didn't mean to jump that way. All right, there we go. There we have it. Better fix. It says, in case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see if you break the glass with the solved it. Ta-da! We got a new wrench. We got a new wrench. Check it out. Da -da -da. An upgraded wrench. So, if you guys remember back a few episodes when I said we had to beat, uh, you have to beat the B2 Brawler with uh, only your wrench, well, you get an upgraded wrench, so it makes the job a little bit easier if I was to go back and try it again now, but I'm not going to. Oh! Yes, the lava gun. Oh, we're gonna get the buddies first, though, but then we'll get the lava gun. And then there's the bouncer. Oh, man. Jeez, there's so many weapons. And just not enough money. Can't buy them all. But. Lava Gun's another one of those amazing guns that I just. I love. I love it so much. Do -do 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 -do. I think they actually keep it throughout a bunch of the other games, too. So, hey. There you go. It started in this game, and then they kept it. I wonder if they'll have it in the new game. Ooh. Ooh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, wait, let's use this thing a bit more. Keep saying that we have to use it to upgrade it, but I keep forgetting about it and using just the powerful weapons just so we can actually clear out these places. But no, oh, no, no, we gotta we gotta upgrade this thing, that way we'll have more upgrade weapons and we'll have even stronger things to help us in the future. I just picked up a pink nanotech thing, so there you go. Get out of here, you. And swing it, swing, swing. I should, probably should have saved the bomb for this point right here. Oh, good. We got one. Perfect. And now this one, this is the fun part. We get to swing and glide. We didn't know what to do here the first few times, so we just kind of killed ourselves. But you got to swing and glide, and then there's a cutscene at the very bottom of the thing. Over the experiment now. I can't do that. You have three seconds. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, he's a uh, she. This changes nothing. Where's the experiment? We have returned it to Mr. Fizz Widget. Oh, you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger. But, but I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you. If you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh no! Good thing that wasn't little Susie. Here at the Megacorp testing facility, we make sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected to help keep you safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, 
the nuclear mousetrap, self-wedgifying underwear, and the long ninjas. So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp testing facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. Well, we're gonna need a new ship. Yep, we're gonna need yet another new ship because ours blew up in the process. But here, we will actually save saving our ship and making a new one and for the next episode we'll, where we'll talk to that dude yep but anyway i want to thank you guys very much for watching i know this episode might have been a little bit tiny bit shorter but that's okay i'll see you guys then or wait in the next episode jeez i'm still not good with outros either way goodbye for now my friends